Lisa. I'm here with Marjorie Lajoie and Zachary Laga of Canada, uh, who are our reigning junior world champions and have just finished their free dance at Finlandia Trophy, where they've come in fourth. You've come into your first senior season as reigning junior world champions. I heard you say in the mix zone just now that you got a bit nervous. What's it been like? Have you felt a lot of pressure or what's your experience been so far? Um, yeah, for the first competition, uh, I felt a lot of pressure because we were coming back from junior world champion and going to senior it was like, okay, we need to do a big step. Um, and now we, for this one, we said, okay, we, we need to calm down and just take it step by step. And it's okay to not be as great as the first one it's just normal and it's part of the journey you know to just sure. take it one step at a time so is that how you're going to approach the season sort of take a competition by competition or have you set any sort of goals uh, you like get to? we we set goals but at one point like we can do nothing about it like we just have to skate good and it kind of sucks that um you you have to do your best but like you're you're not necessarily going to have the results you want It's only destiny. Genre, tu peux pas aller plus loin que que, que ton niveau que t'as. T'es okay. oublié. T'es so limité. You're limited by. Um, the level you're at yes. today. Yeah, okay, sure. So, like we finished fourth today. On peut s'arracher les cheveux en disant Zé, t'en aurais aimé être sur le podium ou peu importe. Mais la réalité, c'est que check. Tu peux pas faire mieux. Puis c'est ta limite pour aujourd'hui. Puis oui. le seul truc que tu peux changer, c'est en pratique. Alors en pratique, on va essayer d'encore pousser le bouchon, faire du millage, et, euh, et on verra après l'autre compétition qu'est-ce qui va se passer. You can tear your hair out and say, damn, we would have loved to be on the podium, but the truth is, you can't do better than this. This is your limit right now. All you can do is change things in practice. So in practice, we're going to try and push the boundaries and get some mileage in. We'll see what happens at the other competition. What is it that you'll be focusing on in practice then in the run-up? Because it's Skate Canada that we see you at. Yeah, in a straight, week. You know. So yeah, we so don't have much time. So in this short week, what, yeah. will, what will you be focusing on? Um, we don't know. Uh, like we don't we don't know yet. I guess and uh, the technical stuff we have to look at uh, our results, like the detailed sheet. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to because we have only one week. Yeah. So it's gonna be like maintenance. And some like I'm um, like we're gonna try to get some improvement, but at some little places, at some little details, because we cannot try to do too much improvement. Yeah, if we do too much in a week, we'll just like being more stressed. So just exactly. Yeah. yeah. Take it calmly. Yeah, 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 yeah. That sounds yeah. sensible. That sounds sensible. Um, how do you feel about your performance today versus Lombardia? Uh, well, as I said, like Lombardia, uh, we felt so much pressure, uh, very stressed, and. Uh, well, I didn't feel very ready for this one. Mm. We didn't do lots of runs before going and stuff. So this one, we we made a plan and we did our run through every day. And so I felt more ready, mm -hmm. so less stress. Okay. Uh, I could more enjoy the competition. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Peace of mind. Yeah. Can you tell me a bit about your programs this season and how you chose them? Who you worked with, what the process was like. Okay. Uh, well, for the short dance, we had a lot of trouble choosing the music. <laughs> we started with another music. We even did, like, we cut the music. We mm. started a choreography and we were like, no, that's too junior. So we changed completely and find this one. Um, and we enjoy it, especially like Zach really looks like the, the yeah. guy from the movie. Mm -hmm. So that's very cool. And so it's the other three. Uh, free dance is uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Again, uh, we tried uh, a lot of different music, mm. and our coach said like Bohemian Rhapsody is gonna work for you guys. Like some people might actually take it, like because it's like a famous piece of music sure. and everything. But he said like uh, it's gonna it's gonna fit you like pretty well. So we took it, and uh, I think it was a good choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You're, uh, you've got very fancy costumes uh, this yes, year. Yes, yes, yes. I'm really happy about my costumes. <laughs> <laughs> how, how did you design them? Did you have any input? Uh, well, the short program, I really wanted my uh, costume to look like uh, Bernardo, like the beginning of the movie. Because mm -hmm. in my opinion, if you do West Side Story, you gotta have the same costume as 
sure. as the movie. A homage. Yes. So, so for that, uh, that's what happened in the short. In the free, I don't know. I, I, like I looked at some like um, picture of Queen, and I, I talked with the guy who was making the costume. I said, okay, like, uh, I want like thunder here, or, like, uh, you know, like some details that that. Uh, so when people see me, they see that, okay, he's going to do Queen. Yes? Yeah, sure. So, yeah. Okay. I saw the flash and I thought it would be Flash Gordon. Well, you know what? That, <laughs> that's because of the circle. Yeah, if there was yeah. no circle, only the thunder, it would be easier. But uh, this circle, I might take it off because of that ah, reason. Because okay. you're not the only one who said that. Hmm. It's a Flash program. <laughs> I'm sorry. So That's we'll okay. see by Ross Telecom. Maybe yes, 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 yes. Okay, yes. okay. Actually, what was the first song that you considered for the rhythm Her Spring. Oh, okay. Which is still a good choice. I, w I still yeah. want to scale on that music. <laughs> it's a fun music. I it's really liked it. I, at the beginning, I was kind of sad we didn't took it. But, but actually, we didn't took it. We didn't took it because we didn't find rhythm for the oh, for the okay. yeah. fin step. Sure. That's the main reason. We, and then we didn't want to mix up Broadway's because then it will kind of destroy the theme mm. of the of the yeah. short dance or like rhythmic dance or whatever yeah, yeah. yeah so, so th changed. that's that's why we changed yeah gotcha are you broadway fans in general or no not no. me not really i like never really like like musical she doesn't like musical no enough. but i watch a uh, west side story and yeah she so thinks it's not movie. realistic yeah that people uh, I mean, dance you know, and fight when there's a drama <laughs> and you start singing or you want to stab the guy and you do this i think it's yeah, it's not my type of movie, but I enjoy skating into it. What's your genre of choice then, musically? What Music? Yeah. Uh, I classical, like, uh, not, not classical, but like from radio. Okay. It's so just it's like, like yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I, I like all kind of music. Yeah. And for dancing? What's, do, what kind of dance do you watch to get inspired for your skating? I watch the team uh, that we train with. Okay, sure. Like, there I there enjoy, are a lot as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I watch especially them. Okay. Like You can watch them live because you're training with them. So yeah. it's very inspiring to see on the ice right now. So you've been training at Gedwa, I don't know if I'm still allowed to call it that, um, for I am. I five second years? Me. Yeah. Five years, I think that's it's the fifth, years. fifth, fifth yeah. year. Yeah. That's the fifth year. What's it been like? So many new teams have started to join recently. What's it been like? Is the atmosphere changing? What's it been like to grow up there? I guess you're one of the... Like a lot of team came. So like the, the coaches are really like uh, busy, but they still do a really good job of like balancing the coaching between all, uh, all the couples because like we're almost more than 20 mm -hmm. yeah and that's a lot but the thing with this school is that you're kind of it's not like you're on your own but like the coaches are here to help you on the ice they do an amazing job but at the same time they, they let you handle your career and this is why it's uh, it's a good school at, at the senior level because they don't uh, organize all your schedule like you you got to take care of your schedule and then you say it to them and then they do the like uh, the on ice, uh, the on ice part. So people say like, uh, oh, there's a lot of team there. It might be not a good idea, but it's not true, because uh, by handling your career, you become more ma like mature. Sure. And yeah, after you, the coach like the, like the coach are there for you to help you on the ice, and it's it works pretty well. Sure. There are results coming out of the mm -hmm. school, so clearly. You, yes. you said you watch the other teams a lot. Is there a particular team at Gedwo that you're like, I like what they do, I want to do more of that? Or uh, Well, Maddie and Evan, has, mm. has, they have a lot of qualities. Like, they're short. Yes. Yes. Yeah, they're yes. very good. And um, Well, I love watching all the couples, even the junior. It's very inspiring to see how great they are becoming. Mm. Um, but of course, I get and Guillaume, world sure. champions. Like, it's always very inspiring to watch him do a full program. You're just like stopping training and watch a little. Uh, but all of them, I love watching all of them. Gotcha. Zachary, you're a, an accomplished classical pianist. Yeah. Um, do you, are you still gonna, I mean, keep that up alongside the skating? I saw you'd competed in, in yes. music contests as well as you. Are you still gonna keep doing that? That's the goal. Like, um, over the past year, like I, like no, last year I didn't do so much because two years before I did, I did one competition. And it took like took a lot of energy. Sure. 
it's really hard, you know, because like you go skate, you come back home, and then you do like four hours of piano, and then you go to sleep, and then you wake up, you go to school, and then you do skating, and then you go again to piano. Yeah. I'm so, but it, it it keeps the brain working, and that's that's a good thing. It helps for uh, everything I do. This year, I want to um, to compete. Like we're planning to do some competitions. Okay. We we just finished choosing the program. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's uh, what's gonna happen. Maybe university. In I don't know. We'll see what's gonna happen. Do you think it, it informs your skating, sort of your your relationship to the music? In a yes, time? yes, yes. Like um, it helps, like understanding like some nuance, some mm -hmm. contrast of the music, and mainly I think for the like the body language expression, it it kind of helps. Yeah. I feel. Yeah, because sure. you feel you feel it more. Maybe not like in the facial expression, but body language. I feel like it helps a lot. I've, I'm also wondering. Um, so often, even when you see skaters like quote which music they're using, they'll just give you the piece, right? But the especially in classical music, uh -huh. it can change so much from musician to musician. What the piece sounds like, what it feels like. Okay. Do you think, as a musician yourself, do you think enough attention is paid to that? Oh, you mean like uh, who is actually playing yeah. the... and whether that matters. It's a good question. Yes, I think that people should give more importance to that, 100%. Because, um, okay, for example, we take a, play, uh, a piece from Rachmaninoff, okay, but the guy who plays it, he plays it like his own way, you know? Yeah. And at the end of the day, he's the one playing it, you know? So I think I think it's a good idea. People should say, I'm, I don't know, for example, okay, uh, I will uh, skate on Rachmaninoff, played by whoever it is. I think it's a good idea. Okay. We will do this. <laughs> we'll do this. Nice. Yes, it's a good idea. See the change you want to see in the world. Yes. Great. Yes. Okay, uh, Marjorie, you're a great travel fan, you've mentioned. Yes, I love to travel. Uh, do you want to tell us where you want to go next? What's the plan? Uh, like on vacation? Yeah. Oh, that I don't know because we never really know in advance when we're gonna have like a week off or. Oh, okay, like. fine. But I enjoy doing competitions, so when I have time off, I can visit around, not just in my hotel. Because my parents are often coming, mm -hmm. so I'm like, okay, let's go visit. I, I want to know where I am, the culture of the country we are in, and I enjoy. Sure. Is there anything, so I guess Russia, is there yeah. anything in particular you're going to try and visit while you're there or see? I, of course I will visit for sure, but I don't know yet what because like I don't know Russia at all. So I'll ask people where should I go and for sure I will. Is that the kind of travel you are? You sort of arrive in the place and then you sort of try to experience it as it comes or are you a meticulous planner? Mm, it depends. If I know the place, then I'll plan. Mm -hmm. If I don't know, well, I don't care what I'm looking at. I just want to know where I am. So it's the first time I'm going to go to Russia. So I'll just visit around and feel like I'm in Russia. Sure. Um, any sort of, what's a place that's left a really strong impression on you so far that you've been to? Um, I'll say Croatia because this is where, well, okay, it's not a, it's a pretty place. And I stayed there longer after our Grand Prix. Uh, I could visit and it was very beautiful, but especially because we won there, our first Grand Prix and Junior World, so okay. it's just a special place. Yeah, so much sentimental value. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. One last thing, Marjorie, you organized a benefit uh, called Patinage Atypique, so mm -hmm. Atypical Skating, which seemed like a wonderful cause. I was just hoping you could tell us a bit more about it. Okay, uh, uh, I did it for the first time last year, the 2nd of April, this is uh, Autism Day. Uh, so it's to raise money for autism, especially family that don't really have enough money to take, it's weird to say, but like a break, because sure. it's really, um, tiring to always have a, an autism person in your family because you want to take care of him and they take a lot of place in your life so having like a weekend off with the money we raise um, it's very, very beneficial for like everyone around so yeah I'm organizing this with uh, a lot of skaters and almost everyone that I asked said yes from Gadbois so that was really really nice 
Awesome. So you're going to keep doing it every yeah, year? Yeah, next year, 2nd of April again, I'll do it. Okay. Sure. Canadian listeners, be on the lookout for tickets. Yes, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, and then, so one last question. Uh, Zagari has come with his little pot of yerba mate. Mm-hmm. I have heard that you're trying to convince every other skater to take it up as well. Mm-hmm. Have you had any success so far? Anthony Panamarenko made the switch. Ah, uh-huh. very yes. good. One down, how many to go? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, the next uh, target is Trent Michaud in pairs gotcha. from Canada. And he, mm-hmm. he's just waiting for me to, to buy a kit for him. And okay. when I'm gonna do it, well, he's gonna he's gonna make the switch too. Okay. So. Uh, so you provide the kits. So there's a lot of incentive there. He should well, be like he, 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 I provide it, but they they give me something back. I don't know what is it, <laughs> but they will give he will give me something back for that. What about you, Marjorie? Are you are you converted? Oh no, I tried it and I didn't like it at all. So. But there's there's like <laughs> no. flavors. You yeah, know. maybe if I try other flavors, but I love coffee so much. Okay. And it's like, it's like the same point, like yeah, same purpose. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. know. Perfect. Well, we'll look forward to seeing you at, Sk- at Skate Canada, and uh, thank you so much for your time. Thank Thanks. you. It's been a pleasure. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you very you. much.